Hi everybody, welcome very much to the channel. Today we have game number two, out of the best of three, counting for the Elite Classic 2 main event group A day three. And it's Recon in the color orange. No, it's Puppy Paw in the color orange playing as the AU bids versus Recon in the color blue playing as John Dark on the best map, probably Dry Arabia. This is game number two. And it's a best of three, so already somebody won game number one and somebody lost game number one. Right? The so let's see who comes out on top. If it will be Recon on JD on John Dark. Oh! Dark Age Aggression? Nah. Certainly not. Yeah, it will be. Because JD can collect food faster, right? Oh, upon reaching level 2, John shares their talent with nearby builders. So everybody builds faster for a while? Really? I didn't knew that. Okay, that's one spear. Do we have more? No. So it's gonna be one... It's for the Tower Rush! JD Tower Rush the gold for the Ubit, cancelling the fast castle? Is that the play? Is it? Is it? Let's see. I was not expecting to see that today. But here we are. There we go, John Dark coming in. John Dark peasant. Where is the spear? The spear got left behind. No. There are two spears. That's a scout. That's a spear. Oh, distracting. Well done, Recon. With one spear, you distract the opponent. With the other spear, you go and drop the tower. Drop the tower. Do it. Do it now. Here we go. Remember that John built faster, right? So the tower will come up faster than the Mongol tower rush. Oh, villagers come in to attack John. What is the other spear? Oh my god, quick. John, she, she's okay. Ooh, you, 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 you. Oh, she's, she's taking a lot of damage. Three spears are here, and the villagers are forced out of business. The puppy Paul will be tower rushed by John Dark in the Dark Age. Pun intended. Totally intended. And no gold for the puppy Paul. Are they edging up? Yes, the bug, it's just the bug doesn't showing it. And the cam Desert Trader coming in will can kite the spears quite easily. Recon is not very behind for somebody that built three spears and move a villager all the way to the other side of the map. Alright, it's not very much behind. Pretty much will edge up in a couple of seconds. Right. And School of Cavalry comes in for Recon. I'll be very surprised, but very excited if it was the Chamber of Homers. Okay. Gold mining station gets destroyed. Desert Raider comes through and it will counter raid or will it kill the spears? School of Cavalry being brought up. We don't know how much XP John have, but they built the tower. But they spent a lot of time walking, so a lot of XP was not gained in that time, right? Shh. 
more stables. Archer and Horseman will be coming out? I mean, the Desert Trade is already counter the Knights, right? So... You want Archers to kill uh, Spearmen? And to kill the enemy Archers, and you want Horsemen to kill the enemy Archers faster? Desert Raider... Raiding, attacking the gold... Go, School of Cavalry completed. Not enough food for the first. No, no never mind. First knight is there. Spear being kited. As a trader now at will to raid the gold of Raycon. Oh, Jen. Oh, they they, they are not taking a lot of damage, so they can chill. Spears inside the tower, no more gold for Pipipo, so no fast castle, good play from Recon. Another desert trader comes through, but chills at the base. JD goes forward to kill the boar. Do we have archers? No, it's gonna be just... It's gonna be spears and knights. Versus Desert Raiders and Archers. And the oh, Horseman too. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Ram comes through. To kill the tower. The report was really delayed. Spears, uh, Archers. Killing this. Okay, there you go. Spears run away. Need to run faster when Spear goes down. Oh, I thought JD would go to that boar, but they came to this boar first, and here they go. Just more houses. Yeah, it was JD woman at arms, not JD hunter. Recently, we have been seeing more JD hunters, which is very interesting. Because they can one-shot villagers, for an example, from far away, with the Divine Shot, or Divine Error, or whatever. It's pretty nice. Defensive Tower. And Baby Boy is still very close to the fast castle. Now he has 14 villagers there. In terms of food, is chilling. And Recon will be a bit left behind on the Feudal Age. He's chasing Desert Raiders and the Horsemen, but that's like, not a big threat. Yeah, they keep chasing. And Bobby Boy is really close to the Castle Age. They can go with the Fast Castle if they want. But people basically stopped going for the Fast Castle with this one. They go, they go fast castle into growth. Right? Which is just so good. 8 villagers at 10 minutes. It's really, really good. There we go. Nice move from Recon, getting all the deer very close to the mill. And they are on their way to go castle as well. But Puppy is already going to the castle age. And then they'll grab relics, make camel lancers, and the gulams. The knights can deal with the gulams. But Ricker will need some spears. To deal with the camel lancers. Ricker was not able to do a lot of damage with the knights though. Tower Rush was nice. But Puppy is not that delayed. Right, if you think about it. Did not try to attack the gold. Edge up, it's almost through. Recon, they're making more units. So they want to attack because Puppy Paul. They have six archers and three desert raiders. 
So they will not be able to defend against a lot of knights with that. Right? Knights coming in. There we go, there we go. They got one villager, but that's not great value because maybe people will just will receive eight. There we go. So there are seven villagers ahead right now. Actually, nine. Right? Four plus five, nine. Now eight villagers ahead. So Recon missed a villager. Right? And Pavipo, Castle Age. Camel Lancers. Oh, they're going for crossbows. Nice. No Ghulams. Because, yeah, the knights can deal with the Ghulams. So, instead of Ghulams, you go crossbows to kill the knights. Oh, nice raid there. The knights coming in, getting three villagers. I mean, two. But three in total. Alright. Well done, well done. Oh, look at the great play from Puppy Paw. He places the villagers into the ram so they they are not taken down by the knights. And now they go into the TC. No, they are being slaughtered. Five of them go down. Six of them goes down. So Puppy Paw basically just received two villagers instead of eight. Because he lost six. He still had the by three. Oh, wait. Yeah, archers actually do very well against desert traders because they have zero armor, zero ranged armor. But Jan goes down, knights going down, archers going down, Recon losing a lot of his army there. And he needs that army to defend, right? Because once Puppy Paw cleans the base here. Oh, and Recon is investing a lot into feudal. I think they're investing too much into feudal. And they needed more spears to counter the camel lancers, right? Archers, they, they need they also need archers to counter the crossbows and the desert raiders. But they needed way more spears to counter the, the camel lancers here. Ah, they're losing a lot of units. The deer is also running out. This boar should be a good option. The deer too, it's like in weird places. They're not very in the front or in the middle. Big walls from Puppy Paw. Recon is moving out to the board, yeah. That's an excellent food source. Let's go for income per minute. And we have Golden Age tier 2 activated. Research speed plus 50%. Well, they're just straight up better than uh, Avacids now. Okay. Second relic for Puppy. They head by four villagers. Because, yeah, Recon had no food, so he couldn't make villagers, yeah. Uh, he's not looking good for Recon. He's stuck in feudal. Less villagers. Being pushed out of the board. That's GG. That's GG. Puppy very smart. Go checking if Recon was on the board. JD goes there, but... What can you do? That's a big army, though. For Recon, a lot of spears. Okay. Okay. Recon is still in this, guys. There you go. <laughs> We're just killing the ram. Get out of here, ram. Camel Lancers forced back. I think... Puppy now needs some Ghulams. 
Or, or just more archers to kill the spears, right? Crossbows and... Ooh, they've been cornered here. Knights, really long recon. Might this one in feudal. But people also with little amounts of food. Bringing a relic through the battlefield. Can he get a conversion here? Or just a di uh, to distract? No, he's just going through. He wants a relic at home, not in the floor there. Ooh, yeah. Recon army gets cleaned. The knights died to the crossbows and camel lancers. And now his archers will be cleaned up and they have no food. Uh, looking bad for Recon once again on this game. They are bringing the third relic back home. Yeah, GG gets called. Tough game. Recon did a good job, but Puppy was still able to go castle, even without using the um, Culture Wing advancement. And then Recon got 8 kills, but they didn't make enough units in Feudal, and they didn't age up to the castle ledge. They got stuck in between what to do there versus a Ubid. And they lose the set. Puppy Paul wins 2-0. And they are in a very good position to go through to the playoffs. Guys, thank you for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. Follow the links on below. And I see you next time. Oh, wait. Let's take a look at the graphs. Villager. Military. Statistics. Oof. Probably probably 2,000 more food. I mean, 1,400. But, you know. Now, yes. See you soon.